Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. In this class, I am going to teach how to calculate the subtotal amount here. Okay, and if you want to delete the uh, rows, you just click the row which you want to delete and click delete button. The ray, uh, the row should delete. So, uh, so let me see how to do the task. So, here we close the window. Here I need to another stuff here. We have to remove the code on this mouse click event. We don't need these codes. We remove them. Right. Now what I am going to do is here. Uh, this add double click on that button. This add button. We have to call here. Right. Here I am going to write another code. Here I am going to write as int sum we have to create the variable sum equals 0 after that we have to write the for loop int i equals 0 i greater than j table table 1 dot get row get row function get row count get row count i plus plus we have to write as i plus plus right now here i'm going to write as a sum equal sum plus int integer dot pass int here j table one dot get value at here you have to specify the column name what is the column name here it's starting from zero position here starting from this one uh, zero position zero one two three four position of four we have to calculate the total so position of four you have to put it as four okay you have to put the calculate the position the k table uh, this uh, starting from zero position zero one two three four fourth position column you have to calculate the values and get the subtotal here so i have put here like this after that we have to put another method to string dot to string right that's the thing now error go away now here you have to pass the things into the text box so the text box name is we have to write as txt sub this one for txt pay this one change it as a txt bal balance txt balance right that's the thing we have to do now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write here as txt sub total dot set text here we have to write as integer dot inti integer integer dot two string we have to convert the total but the amount you are coming here is convert as a two string method this is the total okay to uh, put uh, assign to the text box Exists sub this text box okay what are the value available in these columns all the values are calculated and display in this text box okay let's check whether it's working fine or not okay if i enter the barcode over here and relevant product code uh, details will be display here if you give the quantity if you click add button here the total will display here now i again i'm going to enter the quantity sorry barcode uh, barcode and display the uh, details here now i am going to enter the quantity as uh, 10 if you click this one here these two are uh, added and here it will add the subtotal over here these things i am going to do here, here. right this is the code you have to write right so loop right now what i am going to do is here i am going if i if you if i want to delete the amount 
if I click this one, if you click delete, delete, the row has been deleted and the amount should reduce. So how to do this? Okay. Okay. Let's go to the code part. Here, this is the model table model. What I'm going to do is here. I'm going to copy this one and go here. Control C to copy this one. Go above. I paste here equal new default model we have to create the object above so we can reuse them instead of writing again by again so we have to re reuse them right now here we have to we no need this one the object right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to double click on this one and here i'm going to write this same model object which object the same model object you have to write here this one this object model object this how we can add the data into the j table use this model object the same model object we are used to delete the record so we have to when when we delete the record we have to use that module object get here dot there will be the free defined uh, function remove row remove row when we add the data into the j table there will be the function add row when we remove the uh, row there will be the function remove row right you have to write like this here you have to specify the j table name here dot get selected row get selected row mean you are selected which show you are selected that particular row has been deleted so you have to properly give here right that's the thing you have to write like this other things are same here which one the same code here you have to go into paste the same code you have to paste right control v to copy here control v to paste here other code should be same you no need to write you have to write here only this one only right now when you uh, there is some function you have to write again in dot sum sum equal zero you have to write like this that that, that, that function you must write equal zero and what is the wrong sorry not here it's here you are right right now the row has been deleted successfully right now let's arrange them in the order the same code you have to write When we delete the row, what is the current amount available in this particular row? It's sum and display the total here, right? Okay, let's check. Here, now enter the product here. Again, another, add another product, right? Like this, uh, quantity three, right? Now these are the subtotal. Now I'm going to delete this one. I know I feel to delete and click delete button here. Now the current total will be this. Now if you want to delete this one also, select the row, if you click delete here, subtotal has been zero. This is how we can delete the row, right? If you fail to delete, right? Uh, I hope you guys, you understood so far. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, share. Thank you for watching.